let me show you how easy it is to configure your first change data capture process from SAP using Azure Data Factory's new SAP CDC connector. To get started, I have prepared a pipeline with a data flow activity and a data set pointing to the SAP source object, in this case, sales order items in SAP S4HANA. In the pipeline, I have already pre-configured some settings like the Azure integration runtime, which we use to execute the data flow, and the staging folder in which we intermediately store the raw change data coming from SAP. Now let's move on to create the actual mapping data flow. We'll do a simple scenario which reads the change data from SAP and applies the changes to a delta table in AVLS Gen 2. So let's simply add a source followed by a sync. In the source settings, we select the data set which we looked at earlier. Sales orders coming from S4HANA. And in the source options, we specify the run mode and the key columns. The run mode basically allows us to specify whether we want to do a change data capture process, which would be the option full on the first run, then incremental, or full loads only, which would be the second option here, full on every run. We can retrieve the key columns from the source automatically and just check whether they are correct. Now let's move on to configure the sync. We're going to use a delta table, which I'll configure as an inline data set. So I switch to sync type inline, um, select delta here, and the linked service, which connects to my Azure data lake. And in the settings, we specify a folder path. And we also allow update methods delete, absurd, and update because we want to catch all kinds of changes which come from the SAP side. When you do this, we, you also have to specify the key columns of the sync. So let's paste them here. And with that, we are actually good to go. Let's validate the data flow. And that's it. We are ready to run the pipeline and establish the change data capture process from SAP.